Guess what? Guess whose birthday it is? It's the lady's birthday. <gasps> How old are you today? We we'll say five. I am five yelps old. And mom is having a hard time. A really hard time. And you cannot get older. It's just, it's not allowed. It is not allowed, huh? <laughs> Yeah, this baby princess is not allowed to get older. I, I'm not okay with it. This eye is like super irritated to take case of that. Tried my whitening drops, everything. Toned it down a little bit, but not completely. I mean, apparently I'm stressed because apparently there's this thing called the coronavirus and it broke out last night like Everything started shutting down last night. Last night is when the NBA shut down. And today, like, all everything here in Utah is shut down. <laughs> really worried about Rudy Gobert and Donovan Mitchell and Utah Jazz. It's just the start. Buckle up, peeps. So I don't know, guys. It's crazy. It's crazy, crazy, crazy. Anyways, we're here to talk about makeup. What are we talking about today? Jaclyn Hill, volume dos. Uno, dos. Mm -hmm. This is what we're talking about. I've had this since I was in California. I actually ordered it online and then went to the Morphe store and they had it there like a week after it launched. So I totally could have just picked it up when I was there at the store. Whatever. <laughs> actually would have gotten sooner had I waited and purchased it in the store, but I wasn't sure. This was a last second decision purchase. The night before it launched, I kind of said, I'm not gonna buy it. And then when it launched and I got the email, I was like, screw it, I'm gonna buy it. So I bought it, used it one time while I was in California and I used the neutral side. And I do think the neutral side is very beautiful, but I want to play around with all these beautiful pink colors. Give me pink, I love pink. Can I wear pink? I don't know, can I pull it off? We're gonna see. This is gonna be very interesting, but like I've got my hot pink Kyocera, I think is how you say it, jewelry from Kendra Scott on because it gives me life, but I never like know what to wear or how to pair it, so hopefully it all comes together and it looks okay because sometimes I worry that this is gonna come off like orangey on screen and yes, I need a hair appointment. Desperately, it's coming up on Monday. <laughs> right now it's Thursday. I can't wait. <laughs> I do wanna say, there's so much hate around this dang girl. I don't know why she attracts it so dang much. It makes me sad for her. I worry about her mental health, honestly, a lot. Just like I worry about everybody's mental health. I'm big on mental health, especially now. My life has been affected several times from mental health and I have lost people to suicide. Several people. And even just recently lost another person. So I think it's a big deal. I think people should back off. Honestly. <laughs> it's it's makeup. Mental health is a bigger deal. So I think people should lay off and just chillax on Jaclyn Hill. So that's my little rant. Calm down, peeps. It's just makeup. We're just here to have fun. Anyways, didn't mean to go into a huge rant on that one, but obviously uh, mental health hits a really strong chord with me in my life. So yeah, it's a big deal. And I'm not gonna think about it because I'll start crying. So I think the best way to go about this because I, don't want to deal with fallout from this. I don't, from all the view or reviews I've watched on this, it doesn't seem like there is a ton of fallout, but I just don't want to deal with it. I'm going to do my eyes first. So I'm going to start out with this P. Louise Acid Rain makeup base. It is in the color Blank Canvas. I'm loving this one because it's like a little bit thicker in consistency. I'm going to take my Morphe M421 brush. 
thing that I like to do with this is kind of shape it right under my brow first and then I'll like take it down. The birthday princess wants to go down. So says, hello, this is my makeup tutorial. It is my buffing day, and I will teach you how to play with pink makeup. Yes. My name is Ladybell. My name is Ladybell. I am the pup. Put me down. I always default to doing my transition shades first, but I know like so many people now like Miss Nikki tutorials and such. They go straight in with like the big boys, okay? Might be a little crazy. I'm gonna start out with this color right here called Crazy. We're gonna see how this goes. We're worried. Okay, M433. I just feel like sometimes when I use these and I first place them, I angle them like too up and down. So I'm taking my time to really make sure they do it right. Going in with crazy. Holy bajoli, that's intense. I know they always like stamp it down first. And to start, I think I'm just going to keep it right here. <laughs> this is so pretty. Now I'm going to grab my JH31 brush. And I'm going to grab this hot, hot pink color here called Tipsy Girl. Oh my gosh. Look at how bright that is. It's insane. I'm going to use this blend out crazy because this is what the rest of the youtubers do when they work with bright colors i think that's to like build up intensity i mean i'm not hating it i'll just say that is i'm gonna go in with my jh40 and i'm gonna grab a little bit of temptress here and just kind of even deepen up this outer bit just a tiny bit i'm gonna grab my m124 and the pure white shade called Certified. Is that like pure white looking? It's kind of got a little bit of an ivory tone. And just pop it right under the brow bone here. I think what I want to do is I'm going to cut my crease. So I'm going to go back in with my Acid Rain blank canvas. And I'm going to cut the crease. So I think if any look calls for a cut crease, it's this. gonna take this little detail brush it's the M515 brush and I'm gonna go back in with crazy and I'm just gonna go over the very top of that cut crease line because I want to go in with that tipsy girl color again and I want there to be some separation so I'm just kind of barely outlining it to give it that separation and then when there's like no product left I'm like kind of brushing upwards just to help blend that out. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with Not My Journey to tie in some more of these purples and I'm just gonna take this old Sonia Kashuk eyeshadow packer brush and I'm gonna start stamping this on the inner corner. Oh I really hope this turns out okay. Not, I just won't put it up and you just will not see it. Now using the same brush, I'm going to go back into Tipsy Girl after, you know, I've cleaned it off in my shadow switcher here. Would y'all look at that. Okay, I'm going to pop this right onto the center. Holy moly, but jolly. I can imagine my coworkers if I showed up here like this. <laughs> Okay, I think 
what I want to do is I want to add a little more purple to the outside over here. And this color, there's two colors that keep calling out to me. This one right here called Dance Party, or no, sorry, this one's called Dance Party. And then this one called Stay True. Stay True has like a little bit of a shimmer in it. It's very slight. I'm just gonna go back in with that M433 that I was using earlier. Going with Stay True and just right on the outside. Yes, that's it. Brushing it off, I'm gonna go back in with Crazy on the outer, outer bits here. So much of all this is like layering. I'm gonna grab a little bit of Love Handles and just go barely right over the very top of that hot pink because I think it was feeling a little splotchy. Okay, yep, that fixed it. I'm gonna take my Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter in the color Pyro. I mean, I'm just gonna take it on that cut crease. And this is such a pretty color to use with that because it's like the clear glitter with all the different color shifts. I also feel like there's another thing we should talk about and that's Bachelor Finale. Like white with that. I don't even know. I just got the Kaja Wink Stamp uh, because Tati Beauty tried it and she said the liner in it was like bomb.com. So I'm gonna line my eyes using this. Trying it out. See if she's correct, Amundo. Cause I feel like this look needs a wing. with this but that did go on very nicely it was a very nice liner I do have to agree like it's totally matte now <laughs> beautiful noob it okay I'm gonna go back into the palette and I'm gonna go back in with the color temptress here like, I don't even know if I really need to do this step it's just have it taking my m326 brush and I'm just going to coat it over top of that and slightly above the edge just blends it All right, so grand reveal, pulling that off. Yeah, I like that line, I hope they match. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply my face makeup here really quickly, and then I'll be right back. I will just quickly mention that, yes, my jewelry does not match. <laughs> but I have been using this new Tatcha Luminous Silk Liquid, the Liquid Silk Canvas. I've been enjoying it very, very much. <laughs> Okay, look a little more alive now. <laughs> Not quite as scary as I did before. So let's go ahead and finish up this look because it is a look. It's a whole mood. And the jewelry doesn't match like I was hoping it would. So there's that. I'm gonna take my Sigma E30 brush. I'm gonna go in with Stay True. I'm just gonna start I don't know what that just was. I don't understand how that happened. <laughs> there was nothing over there to cause that to fall. Maybe it's my ghost. Okay, weird things happening in this house again. I'm just gonna start blending this onto the lower lash line and up into, up to meet that line here. Really focus on the blending as it meets that um, winged line here. Using that same E30, I'm gonna go back in with Tipsy Girl and I'm gonna blend that onto the bottom edge ever so slightly. Going in on the lower lash line, I'm gonna take my M423. I'm gonna go back in with stay with crazy. It's not stay crazy, it's just crazy. And I'm gonna pop that right onto the lash line. Right, dar. Did get a little bit of fallout. I'm gonna take my blendiful and just blend that away. Magic. I'm gonna grab my E36 and I'm going to grab I'm in it. She said to use this for the inner corner highlight. So that's what I'm gonna do. 
and I hope it does not disappoint. It's not disappointing. It's not quite as foiled as I'm used to. I'm gonna put some on right here. The high point on my brow. Oof. until I got glitter. Mm-hmm. Now just kind of opens them. Wah. Next what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my lash liner magnetic eyeliner and I'm just gonna put it right at the base of my lashes. Okay while that dries I'm going to take my Lancome Definicels. Now I'm going to take a pair of these Lily lashes in the style Mykonos. I have turned into magnetic lashes. Basically all I've done is I put my magnets on them. Apply these. Because this look needs like more drama. Like no normal person ever. Now, I'm going to try this. I tried it once before. I don't know how much I love it, but it's the Morphe Matte Continuous Setting, Mattifying Continuous Setting Mist. I mean, it, I can definitely feel my face is wet, but it doesn't look wet. This jewelry is not, it's not cutting it. I wanted it to so bad. Hold on, it's gonna drive me crazy. I gotta go change it. By Nabla Cosmetics, it's called the Magic Pencil, and it's in the color Nude. There was one just lighter than this, but they're sold out. I got this at Morphe while I was in California, and it does not budge in the waterline. I will just tell you that. I'm just gonna brighten up my eyes, put it on my waterline, on my lower lash line. See how much better that looks. Now I'm gonna go in with my Giga Black <laughs> and coat this onto my lower lashes. What? Ooh. Did I just spot my first gray hair? be like setting spray in my hair. I get about my first gray hair. R.I.P. to my youth. It's bleeding. So bye. Can we have a conversation with my hair girl? My appointment? Be like, listen here. Is this real? Or is this in my head? Or is it just blonde? That's totally a gray hair. I have to have to look it just so I can investigate. It's like two inches long. Okay, I'm doing it. It's a gray I have to text my mother. It's my dog's big birthday. Oh, my first gray hair. I need a drink. It's just water. It's not doing anything for me. Time to toughen up Buttercup and move on. I think it's only appropriate that I go in with the Jaclyn Hill Flash Palette. I'm going to take the JO2 brush. I'm going to go in with Gleam. And pop that right there into the high point and blend it out. Now I'm gonna try applying this with a beauty blender because this like was like a major major trick. Ooh. And it melted it into the skin. I'm gonna go in with my Dose of Colors Stone Liquid Lipstick. I'm gonna use this like kind of more of a base just to give color and then I'm gonna go over it with like a more nude uh, lipstick. And I know I have used this a lot. And that's because I'm obsessed with it a lot. 
finally found a nudie color without being too nude that suits my skin tone and works for me. There she is. There's my mom. Hello. Are you an alarmist? An alarmist? Yeah. What are you talking about? You're all alarmed that you have a couple of baby gray hairs. Uh, well, I have gray hair. I'm looking at it in the mirror um, right now. I'm so sorry. It's really going to show up with color in your hair the way you do. Okay, next I'm going to take one of Jacqueline's favorite. This is by, uh, who is this by? Maybelline. <laughs> and it's in the color Baddest Beige, number 050. And more on the center. So that completes this look. What do you guys think? I am actually living for this hot pink. I wasn't sure how much I would like it. Right now I'm obsessed with it. I'm just being honest. <laughs> and I did change my jewelry to zoom you out. I went with my typical, but I feel like it matches so perfectly. Like so perfectly. I did my little heart with like my AB pinks and purples and then my little AB crystal earrings. Like they just, these go with this look. And I love it. It's definitely a mood. Like I will have to be in a mood to pull this off. Like I just can't stop looking at it. The way the colors blended together was so seamless and so beautiful. The only part I felt like I had a little bit of trouble with was where I blended up here. Um, and honestly, I think that could just be because I'm just not used to not having a transition shade like buff down and doing it like the YouTuber way. But I'm not mad with how this turned out. It is so beautiful. It's definitely like a special occasion palette for me. Um, obviously, the neutrals in here are beautiful. These champagne -y shimmers right here gorgeous. When I played around with them and wore them before, I was obsessed. I was afraid that it would end up being super similar to blood sugar. I mean, they're definitely similar. I haven't really worn this a whole ton either because once again, these kind of looks really have to be a mood. You can see there are definitely some similarities, but obviously with the Jacqueline one, you're getting a lot more options. And obviously the Jacqueline Hill one is probably about nearly half the price. But this one, this is an art piece to me. Um, it's the only Jeffree Star palette that I own. It's beautiful. I love to just like sit and look at it. I also want to just talk briefly about my opinions on this palette in comparison to the original palette. Here's the original Jaclyn Hill palette. It's first edition. I got it during launch that very first day. Obviously, big difference right off the bat is this one is the matte white as where well this is the glossy white. You can tell, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see, but it definitely is dirty. Does that turn me off? I mean, it's not, looking at this one, this one's a lot more appealing to look at. It wouldn't deter me from purchasing it. And then on the inside of this one, here we go, it's very dirty. And see, there's my card with all the shade names taped so I could coordinate it and like create looks and tell you, oh yeah, this is this color. <laughs> um, so that was definitely an improvement. I do think that it's still missing a mirror and it could still very much use a mirror. I don't know why they don't put a mirror on it. I feel like some of the other Morphe palettes do have mirrors that are like these 35 color palettes. That to me doesn't really make sense. It still has the little note on this, like this one originally had. I don't remember what exactly this one said because it did tape over it, but it just says on the volume two, it says to all my loving subscribers who have supported me all these years, this one's for you, volume two, XO Jacqueline Hill. Pretty sure the first one said something very similar but this is just a whole moment in and of itself. It's so unique compared to anything that I already have, minus the blood sugar. So if you guys like this video, go ahead and give it a big ol' thumbs up. Leave any comments, requests, questions, anything down below. I love to talk to you guys. Go ahead and subscribe, hit that notification bell, and join the AAC, the Alien Clan, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.